Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics, I really appreciate it. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation, we have a to the x minus 2 to the x all over 6 to the x minus 3 to the x equal to 2. So this is our exponential equation and we need to find our x. Let's try to do this and let's try to solve it step by step with step by step explanation of course. First of all we have all different bases, 8, 2, 6, 3, so it's not good for us, we need to have like uh, the same bases, or let's try to create the same basis. First of all, this 8 and 2, this is great. Now, these are great numbers because we can easily write this 8 as 2 cube. So we have like 2 cube, 2 cube to the power x, of course. This is instead of our 8 because uh, 8 equal to 2 cube, yeah? Minus 2 to the x. And let's write this 6 as 2 times 3. So we have 2 times 3 to the power x and minus 3 to the power x equal to 2. Okay, I hope you understand this step. We just write this uh, 2 cube instead of 8 and uh, 2 times 3 instead of this 6. So nothing hard, yeah? Right now, we need to know <coughs> about a really important rule because we have like 8 to the power, we have like that, we have situation like that, we have like 8 to the power, for example, x raised to the power y, it's equal to 8 to the power x times y. This is our really important rule and let's try to solve it according to this rule. So this 2 cube to the power x can be written as 2 to the power 3x minus 2 to the power x and all over 2 times 3 to the power x. This is uh, the same rule but with really interesting moment we need to raise both elements to this x. So we have like 2 to the power x times 3 to the power x and minus 3 to the power x. Okay, equal to <coughs> equal to 2. So this is our first step to express this 8 and 6 as 2 times 3 and as uh, 2 cube. <coughs> Okay, right now, really important moment. Right here we have 2 to the power 3x, so it means that we have 2 to the power x three times. We have 2 to the x, 2 to the x, 2 to the x, so as a result we can easily factor from here, so 2 to the x we can easily factor, and in parentheses we will have like 2 to the power, not 3x, but 2x, minus 2 to the x we factor, so we have minus 1, and all over. From here, let's factor 3 to the x. This is obvious, yeah? Because we have it on, on both expressions. 3 to the x and in parentheses 2 to the power x minus 1. Okay, equal to 2. Okay, we just factor this 2 to the x from numerator and 3 to the x in our denominator. What are we going to do next? This is really important moment because we need to look at these parentheses. We have 2 to the power 2x. It means that we have like 2 to the x and in parentheses instead of this 2 to the power 2x we can write as 2 to the power x square, yeah? According to this rule we multiply it, yeah? So we have 2 to the power x uh, raised to the square, we will have 2 to the power 2x, so completely the same. And let's write this 1 as 1 square, okay? I'm told, I will tell you before, uh, after why I do this, so we have three, inst all over 3 to the x and 2 to the x minus 1 equal to 2. Okay, take a look closely to this expression, take a look closely. 2 to the power x square and minus 1 square. This is our formula, a minus b square, a square minus b square. So we have a plus b times a minus b, or as a result we can easily write it as a, as a product. So we have 2 to the x and in parentheses we have 2 to the x, 2 to the x minus 1 and times 2 to the x plus 1 and all over our expression in our denominator. So we have 3 to the x and in our denominator 2 to the x minus 1 equal to 2. Right now if we look closely 2 to the x minus 1 and 2 to the x minus 1 we have absolutely the same expressions in our numerator and denominator so we can easily cancel this expression which is which is really great. But with one really important moment because we need to know that 2 to the x minus 1 is not equal to 0. We cancel this, so we need to mention that 2 to the x minus 1 is not equal to 0 and 2 to the x is not equal to 1. From here x is not equal to 0. This is very important moment, so we don't need to forget about it, so x is not equal to 0. So for further, for further solution we need to know that x is not equal to 0. Okay, it was our first step, we just cancelled these parentheses, which is really great. So let's go to the next step, let's try to write this expression. So we have 2 to the x times this parentheses over 3 to the x. I just rewrite it, rewrite this expression right here on, on the top. So we have, we have 2 to the x, we have 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1, plus 1 over 3 to the x 
equal to two. So it is our for, uh, it is our expression after this is this step. Okay, what are we going to do next? It is a really important moment right now because let's try to um, divide. Uh, let's try to not divide. Let's try to multiply both side by three to the x. Let's multiply both side by three to the x. If you multiply both side by three to the x, from here we can easily cancel this because it appears right here three to the x, and we cancel with this in our denominator. But it appears right here on the right hand side. So we have two to the x times two to the x plus one equal to 2 times 3 to the x, okay? Okay, and right now one, one, one more really important moment, let's try to uh, divide both sides by 2. If we divide both sides by 2, it cancels from, from, this, from this part right here, so we cancel from this 2, and we'll have like 2 to the x times 2 to the x plus 1, we divide it by 2, by these 2, and we have only 3 to the x on the, on the right hand side. And we can do one really important trick. So we have two to the first power. We can easily bring this first to the power to the numerator and with the minus. So we have two to the power x minus one. Yeah. So we have two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one equal to three to the x. Okay. This is our really important expression. So we just go to this expression step by step, and this is really important, really important expression for us. Okay, how can we solve this expression? Let's try to uh, divide our solution by three parts. First of all, let's go with x is greater or equal than 2. So this is our first, first step. If x is greater or equal than 2, we have like 2 to the x, I just read this expression, 2 to the x minus 1 times 2 to the x plus 1 equal to 3 to the x. Okay, let's look at this expression if x is greater greater than 2. If x is greater or equal than 2, for example, we plug into this uh, first uh, first element, we plug in, for example, 10 or doesn't matter, or 3 or 2. As you know, it doesn't matter what the power of these 2, it all time will be even number. So 2 to the 10th, 2 to the 12th, 2 to the 4th power, it all the time even number. Then 2 to the x plus 1. So if 2 to the x is even number, if we add to this 2 to the x, if we add, uh, for example, uh, to the even number, if we add 1, we have odd number, odd number. And 3 to the x, doesn't matter what a power, all the time this is odd number, odd number. So as a result, we multiply even times odd number and we need to have like odd number. Is it true? Let's do this. Even times odd number, all the time this is even number and even equal to odd. It is absolutely incorrect and this we can easily reject our positive roots uh, after this two. So two, three, four, five, this is not our solution to this question. So right here we have no, no solutions. No solutions. Okay, let's go to the next step. Let's try to mm, check one. For example, x equal to one. What do we have as a result? We have two to the x. We have two to the x minus one times two to the x plus one equal to equal to three to the x. Okay, if you plug in one, we have like two to the zero times two plus one. We have three times three equal to three to the first. This is three. Is it correct? 2 to the 0, 1, so 3 times 3 equal to 3. This is absolutely correct. So as you can see, we find our, our roots of 3 equal to 3 and x equal to 1. This is a, a first root to our question. So as you can see, we check it, we'll check it right here. We already checked. And, but we need to check a negative one because as you can see right here, take a look, we have x is not equal to zero, first step, x equal to one, so we reject this and we reject all positive numbers after these two. Yeah, so we have we have no zero, we have one, we have two, three, four, we reject it. So we still have only negative, negative solutions. So let's try to let's try to check it. Let's go to the negative solutions right here. So I re rewrite our our expression right here. First of all, we have two to the power x minus one, two to the power x minus one times two to the power x plus one equal to three to the x and we need to check uh, what we need to check. We need to check negative. So this is our third step. It was our first step right here, second step, and it is our first step, uh, third step. Let's check negative. So if x is negative number, is a minus n, for example, and of course n is greater or equal than one, yeah? So negative, but greater or equal than one. So as a result, 
let's try to plug in instead of this x, let's try to plug in minus minus n. <coughs> so we have 2 to the power minus n minus 1. In parentheses, instead of x, we have 2 to the power minus n plus 1 equal to 3 to the power minus n. Okay? Okay. Let's go to the next step. Let's try to factor from let's try to factor minus from here. So we have 2 to the power minus and in parentheses n plus 1. And right here, let's bring this minus power to the denominator. So we have 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 equal to 1 over 3 to the power n, yeah? Okay, let's go to the next step. Let's try to bring this as well in our denominator because we have minus power. So we have 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 times 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 and equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Right now, let's try to add this expression in our parentheses. So we have like 1 over 2 to the power n plus 1 and in parentheses we have 2 to the power n plus 1 in our numerator over 2 to the power n in our denominator equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Okay, right now let's try to multiply it. And if you factor it, we have like 2 to the power n plus 1 over 2 to the power 2n plus 1 equal to 1 over 3 to the power n. Okay, multiply it. We're using cross multiplying. We have like we have like 3 to the power n times 2n, 2 to the power n plus 1 equal to 2 to the power 2n plus 1. And right now the same logic right here. If n is greater than 1, if n is greater or equal than 1, we have like 3 to the power n, this is odd number, 2 to the power n plus 1, this is odd number, and 2 to the power 2n plus 1, this is even number. So we have like odd, odd number equal to even which is absolutely incorrect, so negative roots, negative roots is not for us. So let's write our answer. So our answer x is equal to 1. We checked it before right here, and x is equal to 1. I tried to zoom for you, I want you to, to see this solution. Yeah, this is our solution to this question. Okay, thank you for your time and have a great day. I hope you understand this explanation. Maybe maybe you find difficulty to this solution. I try to help everyone in the comment section. So write your suggestion in the comments. Thank you for your time and have a great day.